Well, it's a great honor for me to be part of this uh, conference. Uh, Mr. Dulai, who's our heading uh, first, said so many things very productive and very useful under his uh, under his uh, heading of this department. Uh, you will be surprised to know that the forest area in Chandigarh has increased to 42 percent of the geographical area of Chandigarh. This is all his efforts and uh, his positive thinking and uh, uh, endeavor in building forest day by day, increasing the forest day by day. Well, as far as uh, I am concerned, I am looking after the engineering department. Uh, we are actually a part of uh, one of uh, our wing. We are not into uh, generation of the power. We are only distribution and transportation. Our, if you see from where we are getting power, we are getting hydropower, we are getting nuclear power, thermal power, and solar power. So this is a combination of the total power which we are uh, getting in Chandigarh. Our baseline is only uh, 275 megawatts, but peak demand goes to 426. This year we had 426, despite the fact that our budget is only 380 megawatts. So it's a very small organization and very small. Uh, and the crest is taking uh, mainly for the solar. But if I divide, uh, if I uh, divide the uh, on how uh, we are getting the power. 72 to 73 percent we are getting hydropower. Six percent is a, a five to six percent nuclear power. Then solar power is only one percent, 1.5 percent as of today, and uh, rest is thermal power, which is uh, contributing about 15 percent. And rest is we are getting from the banks and power we are from the power banks. Government India has given a mandate that we should go for 100% RE. So we had a lot of discussion where Mr. Dari was also a part. So there, after a lot of discussion, we we uh, requested government India that it is not possible to make 100% RE because only probably the solar. Although we are getting solar, we are also going for the wind energy also. Very soon we are going to have a 40 megawatt wind energy also. See, baseline, we need a certain power which is baseline. Only problem is that solar and thermal is, uh, solar and wind is, we don't have any power bank for this thing. We don't get it. What will happen for the night times? What will happen during the rainy season? So that is a very big problem for us. So we requested government India that we should do the special, uh, the separate partner, MNRE. We requested that we should go for 80 percent, 80 percent of uh, uh, RE, where 2021 to 2022 our mandate is to confine ourselves to up to 80 percent. Until then, there is a power bank. So, how it will be like 72 to 73 percent will be hard job. The rest, uh, it will be solar will be 4 percent. Our target is to reach our solar. 4% up to 21-22, which is current 1 to 1.5% 1 as of today. And uh, wind energy 4%. So it will come up to 80%, something that, uh, like 80%, 21-22. So this is our target. Well, it is an achievable target. Presently, we have uh, made it a capacity that all the private buildings. Up to one canal, it was mandatory. Now we are uh, uh, even even ten mega houses. Solar is a must. Although the cutoff date was here, but it has been extended now. Now the same time, with the help of the crest, there basically crest is a nodal agency who is providing all these solar panels in water in the houses. As for the government houses concerned, there are about thirteen thousand five hundred government houses. So this year we have decided that we will be providing solar panels in all SPV in all the government houses. <laughs> so we requested uh, a crest and Mr. Dalai was uh, kind enough to uh, accept our request. So we have transferred funds to the crest 
and very soon we will have him in a phase better. Earlier we were providing him upper category horses. Now we have decided we will provide him each and every category. So even in small category horses, 11 type, 12 type, we are also going to start this year also. So our mandate will, there should be a SPB in each and every uh, household. Certainly. And Crest uh, is uh, very, very effective for that and uh, they are achieving target because uh, Mr. Dolai is very, very uh, particular about the uh, uh, solar. So we were facing a problem. There is always a dispute between uh, electricity department and solar, uh, uh, solar department because when every household there will be a solar SPV, naturally our our electricity will, will come down like anything. So our tariff, what is up? We are having the minimum tariff as, as compared to Chandigarh, Haryana and uh, uh, Delhi. Already tariffs are very less. When we put a solar, because we are having a telescopic tariff, it will come down. Naturally, the slab will be there when you are providing solar. So, so there was a conflict in a conflict of interest uh, that we have shown. And uh, now we are also, as a as a electricity department, we are also uh, focusing on this thing that we should go for the solar as much as we can. Secondly, thing what we are doing in next week because. Our main problem is, it is out of the contest, but still I want to share in this platform. Our main problem is that peak, peak, uh, peak low demand. You see, peak low demand this time, this year it has gone to 426, despite the fact our bucket was 380. You see, it's a, it was only for a, a small duration of 10 minutes. But you see, it is a very, very expensive thing. When you are having a bucket of 380 and you are creating infrastructure over 486, your infrastructure is not there, but there is a still, it is a very expensive proposal, very expensive proposition. Our endeavor is that we should have a linear peak demand. It should not go to peak, it should have a linear demand. For that, demand, uh, DSM is very uh, important, demand side management, that is very, very important. We are also introducing this thing and we are doing it in an aggressive manner. So that we are uh, introducing smart meter also. In every each and every household, we are going to have a smart meter. We are, you will have a time of day tariff. Why to have a washing machine during peak hours? Tariff will be changing. During week hour it is different tariff, during night hour it is different tariff, during daytime it is different. So why to have a washing machine or any gadgets during peak hour? You can manage it, one can manage himself, any household, uh, over time, you can decide at their level only. So we are very soon coming with a uh, smart meter. Uh, and SGM, National Smart Meter Mission has already approved over one of the pilot budget for 39 crore. And uh, very soon we are going to have for Pan Chandigarh. I think that was only for one quarter of the sector. It was comprised of 30,000 meters. But uh, our uh, total uh, requirement is 2 lakh 10 uh, households are there. We are, we are having in meters. Our meter will be converted to smart meters. And uh, for that, we have already uh, sent an estimate to the government of India and SGM already approved it. And very soon that and another estimate of 241 crore will be for the pan chandigarh and very soon we will be having a uh, smart meter in each and every household because that is a very very important thing <coughs> although we think chandigarh is a very uh, modern city but unfortunately our infrastructure whatever infrastructure it has been provided over here uh, it's pretty old so we have unscheduled power cuts, but since solar is here, we are introducing solar in each and every household. This will be something that this will be great helpful to the Chandigarh also. And uh, I won't take much time. Uh, I will thank uh, Surekhan and uh, organization of uh, organizers that they have called me and. Uh, of course, these kind of conferences give you very healthy results and very fruitful results. 
naturally would have all the participants, they will pick up so many things from here, they will share their valuable views and uh, I will request them that this kind of conference should keep on opening in a frequent manner. Thank you very much.